Being horizontal and streamlined, for you do feel like free and powerful in the water. Hi, I'm Evie, I'm 15 and I'm a swimmer. I got into swimming at a young age, at six months, I was playing in the pool on holiday. She loved to splash, she, uh, holidays were always great in the way that as long as there was a pool, you had, a, you had your natural babysitter. As I got older, I decided I wanted to take it a bit more seriously. So I looked around and found a more competitive club. So I moved to Bromley about two years ago. Training every day with all my friends around me and being competitive is just what I enjoy. And swimming up and down the lane, it's just you in your own head. In my family, I guess my dad was a swimmer when he was younger and he swam up until like he was a teenager but then he gave it up. So my dad was really good and really had a high level. I just learned from his experiences all his little bits of knowledge and being the best when you need to be and he tells me that all the time and I really take from that. 20 minutes before in the cool room then that's when I get most nervous. When the race before is 50 metres to go, I put my goggles on over my head, um, on my eyes, I push them down and then I make sure my second hat is on securely. I slap my lats twice, my glutes once and then my calves once and like shake it out a bit as I'm getting up. I've just developed that over time, there's not really a reason why, I just do it before every race. My best achievement would be winning a bronze medal in the 4x100 meter medley relay at European Juniors. It really made me proud because I wasn't really expecting it. I wasn't really going there to medal. During the race, I was trying to swim my fastest because it wasn't just an individual for me, it was for the team. I think also with the swimming, there is just the natural pressure of where she came from last year. And that was a bit of a surprise to us all. And just trying to, I guess, keep that standard up. I think so from her swimming point of view, I think she is just under her own internal pressures to recreate what she did last year. I do tend to put quite a lot of pressure on myself when training, because you know, when it comes down to the race in the last couple of meters, it's who's put in the most training compared to the person next to you. Well, we do train once a day, but that is for two and a half hours, and it does end quite late. I go to the gym three times a week and we also do a 5k run that we have to fit in the week to improve our cardio. Actually, I do wish there was more time in the day. <laughs> Teenage swimmers feel a varying amount of pressure, I think. Uh, some feel a pressure to perform. Generally speaking, I think teenage swimmers feel a pressure to achieve in an unreasonably wide range of events. There's pressure for them to be great athletes, great academics, great socially, great looking, great everything that they can possibly be. When training's at its hardest, it is really tough, really hard to keep going. Some days it's really hard to even get in the pool and swim your pace. Um, your muscles ache, but you just have to keep going. At the end of the season, when you swim well, it just shows that all your sacrifices have made up for it.